Greetings, all shy Dixie here. I'm in a different spot in the house. There's nothing behind me. <laughs> um, the reason is, is because I have to, I have to um, use the old computer to edit, and then I transfer everything over to the new computer to upload, so I can see the video. It's really weird. It's the way it is. I'm having a funky hair day because I did a different thing with my hair. Try to get curls again. I like curls. It's funny how people with curls don't like curls and people without curls want curls. Anyway, today is, of course, Rambling 101, which I already started. Uh, my face is really bad. Really, really bad. It's all down in here. It really hurts. I have to be by a window so we got better light. <laughs> I was watching a thing about lighting. I was reading stuff in the Gepnik Gang's creator uh, chat and was totally like, I know nothing about what I'm doing. And so I have all this shit to learn, literally. I, I have to finish an animation short, which I've been talking about for six months now. I'm starting to feel like I'm just talk, talk, talking. Um, and I have to learn hit film all over again because I forgot everything I learned. So I can use that as my editor. I got to learn a cup bunch of... Uh, stuff about Twitch so I can get that up and running and Mixer so I can get that going. I gotta do the OBS which I started and then kind of got stuff going in the other direction. My face really really hurts. It doesn't itch. I'm not itching. It's just a stinging burning and it does that sometimes. Oh uh, and then I gotta do my mask like I keep talking about. Some of the thoughts that have been going in my mind since in the last month or so is um, one that's on the top of my mind is I saw The Shape of Water. And I'm not going to give you any review. I'm not going to give you any hints about it. Nothing. All I'm going to say is that it reminded me a lot of um, The Creature from the Black Lagoon. Now that was one of my favorite movies um, of my time period as a child. It wasn't really a child that I saw it. I mean, I've seen pieces, pieces of it because I have older uncles and aunts, extended family stuff. Um, and I'd seen pieces and parts of scary movies like Frankenstein and Dracula and all those old black and white films, the classics, um, when I was, you know, young. But I remember around the time of being a preteen puberty style thing, The Creature of the Black Lagoon, because it probably uh, defined how I see relation, love, how I see love and sex and mostly love, how I see love. Oh, sorry. Anyway, a little brain freeze there. So, when I saw The Creature of the Black Lagoon, besides being afraid, the, the next thing that came to mind was it was such a sad movie because here's a creature who technically seems to be all by itself there's no other of its. And then it sees this beautiful female person who it really likes and wants to get to know. Maybe in an obsessive point of view. And then, so it wants to bring it back. Not understanding it can't come back to its own place to live. And then it gets killed for its love. For its obsession. Whichever you want to look at it. Because there's both the negative and the positive in that storyline. Um... I had thought about, i probably do the Black Lagoon itself in a know thyself thing, so I'm not going to go in that direction. But what was curious to me was the, um, later after seeing The Shape of Water, well first I saw the Academy Awards with uh, Del Toro in it, who is the director and the creator of it. He also did Hellboy, which I love. I love Hellboy 1 and Hellboy 2. So, um, and it, it almost seems like a reference to the character in Hellboy. But, it doesn't really fit in the timeline, as in what is told about from Abe, the, the, the monster, not monster, but, um, well, I guess it's a monster. <laughs> Might upset some people they call a monster. Uh, and then he said he started this story with an idea a while back. So, hmm, yeah, so I, w I was thinking a lot about that, because Del Poro never said that it was in any way related to um, Abe. But we were here in the house going, well, it could be his father and mother, because Abe is more sapient than the creature in the shape of water. But 
it is an interesting story. So if you get a chance, if you liked Hellboy, I would watch The Shape of Water. Shape of Water, though, has a weird feel to it, the movie. And interesting enough, it got Best Picture at the Oscars, which is odd, but it has that Oscar feel to it, I guess. It has that weird, I don't know, the way they like the cinematography, not necessarily the way I like the cinematography. Uh, the direct, the characters were very interesting stuff, but I didn't feel an immense connection to the characters, which is something that happens in some of his stories. Uh, the, the characters are not as connected. The story is awesome. It's a great story, and you really enjoy the story, but the characters are slow to connect. Though some people would argue that point, and that's fine. What else have I been thinking about? I've come up with some other ideas for um, a couple more vlogs. Um, I, I'm not sure that what the Vixen says is going to continue on because I'm not getting enough questions. I mean, I got enough questions till July. So if I get some more questions, then that'll keep going. The thing is, I need more subs or people who are viewing this to put in more questions. And I'm not sure that they're any different than the ones I've already gotten. But it's fine because I give a shout out when you give me a question. So I may I may end up kind of proposing it that way when people I'll say go to one of my vlogs, uh, give me a question about the world, space, time, games, whatever you want, put it in there, and then you'll if I pick your question you'll get a shout out. That'd probably be how I would do it. Um, Sorry, looking out the window here. Looking out the window, looking out the window. No, um, so we've been thinking about that. I have to, I have an artichoke plant. I have to go out and figure out a way to get out of one pot into the other pot. Um, I've been thinking about acupuncture a lot, so, and therapy. I've been thinking about acupuncture and therapy, therapy and acupuncture, because one of the things you learn when you go to school to become a therapist or work in psychiatry is that there was an article and, a, and um, research done about 10 years ago. And they found out that the most important part of healing, at least in the mind part, which I think works in the physical part too, is the belief that it's going to work and the person who's doing the therapy. So, if you like the person who's doing the therapy, you're more apt to get a better benefit from the therapy. I try to be very objective. I want to go in not liking or disliking the person and not believing or not believing the therapy. I just want to kind of let it work on itself. That, that can be a problem, okay, because first of all, Physical therapy is a little different than mental therapy. Mental therapy is literally the idea that you learn to heal yourself. Now, this is not saying, though you hear it, depression is all in your head. Well, technically, depression is all in your head, okay? But not in the way that other people think. Um, if you have a brief moment of depression, right, that's different than if you have lifelong depression. Okay, and sometimes lifelong depression doesn't start when you're young. It can start like at 21. Uh, 21 is the magical age for schizophrenia. Though you'll see schizophrenia at earlier ages and later ages. But between 21 and 25 when the brain is being baked and getting to its right perfectionist, that's when you see schizophrenia. Now, literally that's all in your head, right? But the reason it's in your head, okay, is because it's the chemicals that are that are working in your brain aren't working correctly anymore. And I think in schizophrenia, if I remember right, there's pieces of the brain matter that's not right. Okay? So understanding that, that it's an actual physical problem in your head, it's okay to say depression's all in your head. Because depression has to do with chemicals. Now, I have a, a cartoon, an animation, cartoon animation. I don't care. I don't see the difference in the two. Though people equate cartoon to kids and animation to not childlike, I guess. Um, I have an animation that I will begin working on again when I'm done with the Reaper one, with the NMS short Reaper one that I'm doing for um, Old McReaper. Shout out, shout out. Go check out his channel. He's an awesome new rising star in um, 
the land of YouTube. So if you, so once I'm done with that, I'm going to do that and explain about depression. But I was thinking about phys, the therapy and physical therapy and mental therapy. So when I do my acupuncture, when I go to my acupuncture, it does nothing for my pain. Zip. But it gives me more energy, which I find very interesting. Um, because I don't believe or not believe in it. I'm very objective. And um, I think that it's a good thing to offer. I think it's a good thing to offer whether it, it helps other people, all the people or not. Um, because I think we're killing ourselves slowly with prescription medication. Because the way prescription medication works, especially for fibromyalgia and mental health issues, is it changes the brain chemistry that's already changed. <laughs> Which kind of seems to me not really a good idea. Um, I'm in the process right now to work towards CBD oil. I always get it, like I want to say T instead of D, I don't know why. Um, but it's pricey, and my budget is, you're going to laugh, games. Pain relief. <laughs> kind of want the games. I'm sorry, because they make me feel good. And when I feel good, it's easier to deal with the pain. Um, and I'm fearful I'll spend the money on CBD and it won't work. And then I'll just be right back in the same spot I am. So I'm kind of trying to balance with that. Uh, we were supposed to go down south next week to go visit family members. And um, that... We didn't make it <laughs> because of money. Um, not because we don't have the money to go, but because my daughter wants to have money on hand so when we go and come back, we still have money, which I understand because you have to pay bills after you've left and you got things you have to do. So that, that's been on my mind. Um, I wonder about my dog sometimes. You know, um, I, I just, the anxiety that I have, I worry about dogs. I worry about cats. I worry about cats and dogs eating you. I know that's a weird thing. Like you're sleeping and they just decide that they're overly hungry and decide to munch down on you because they love you. Because what, what's a better thing to eat than the thing you love? <laughs> I don't know why that thought comes to my mind, but it does. Um, I'm thinking about exploring a vlog about why some people can kill people and other people can't kill people. Um, and what it really takes to be able to make that next step. I was reading this article about, well, this news thing, about a guy, I want to say in the Netherlands, but I'm not sure that that's where it's at. Um, it's either Finland, might have been Finland, but somewhere in that area, I have a kitty, um, who uh, took a journalist out and killed her in his submarine. And when the witnesses went on the stand, they talked about how, well, couple, one specific said how he wanted to do snuff films, which I hadn't heard in a long time. I didn't know they called them snuff films still. And how um, he had been exploring on the darker side of the human soul. <laughs> and people always ask me, especially when I started taking psychology, why do people, whoops, sorry, cat deciding to purr on the thing here. We're moving. Let's move ourselves back this way. I can edit that, I think. Nope, that's got my knees. On the darker side of the human soul, why people would... It's not why people would kill, because we've known people people killed forever. I mean, you used to kill to protect yourself. Um, but why this weird obsession with death and killing? Um, and that is a whole vlog on itself, so it's kind of that... What did the vixen say? So if anybody's interested in it, I might make a vlog of that. Um, maybe I'll ask the question myself and then I can give myself a shout out. Woo! Go check out Charlie Vixen! Magnificent channel! Which I have not posted anything to. I gotta do that too. I, I have this issue that's going on. I talk about it all the time. But I have one computer and I have Movie Maker on it. I have another computer, my newer computer, has not Movie Maker on it. I don't have an editing system on the new computer yet because I don't have OBS up either. So I have to edit on the old computer and transfer to the new computer. Uh, <laughs> so that makes things a little more tricky and time consuming. Um, let's see what else I'm thinking about. Oh, I have a, a, a picture I need to paint. 
I'm going to put that up. I find a spot on my wall to hang it up to paint. Um, the pain in my shoulder is, is, is severe. And um, I was thinking about that this morning. About I have a meditation thing we do where um, when you're laying down or sitting down and you're very re you get yourself to a relaxed state, you travel to your body and find the places that don't hurt and center on them than the places that do hurt. So for me, my left side of my body hurts less than my right side of the body. So I center on my left side. Um, my right arm is sore to touch, which is weird. I mean, this one, not so much, but this one, it's like I'm bruised from that there to there. And you touch it and it hurts. It's like, ah, which is very problematic when you have a four-year-old grandson who wants to go belly flop on top of you. This is Bob! I'm <laughs> like, ah, that hurt. Um... Yeah, so, let's see, it's been an okay month. I still, I, I've been swimming through streams of melancholiness and upset about being old. That's normal. It happens. Uh, human beings' brains don't age well. In fact, I don't think they even age. I think at about 25, they stop. Between 21 and 25, if you're lucky, if you made it to adult brainhood, you know, that's where your brain is. And that's not to say that you don't have old souls, people who were old before they were that age, and, and then really young souls who stayed young the whole time. That's true. And then mental health, like I've said, causes the brain development to stop at certain places. For me, teenagehood, there was a huge amount of trauma around that time period. Um, so my brain is stuck emotionally. You know, Sometimes I'm still like a teen, which is good in the field that I worked in because I could talk to teens really well because I kind of knew where they were coming from. I didn't forget that aspect of life. I wish I could. I hated that aspect of life. Um, <laughs> I did not like being a teenager. I didn't like being a kid or a teenager. I mean, I liked the aspects of some parts of it, but for the most part, the power and control part, didn't like it. I wanted to be in control of my life from a very early age. Uh, and that's just me. And so that comes out in a lot of my art, comes out in a lot of stuff I'm doing. So just a, a tip, uh, not a tip, but an update. I am three-fourths of the way through Old McReaper's um, short that I'm doing. I got a stuck on, I've gotten stuck on a flow system. So I have the ship coming in at the planet like this, and I want to turn it so we're looking through from the backside down into the planet. And it's that whole turn sequence that I'm having some issue with uh, in flow. So, because I went from here to here to to seeing the side of the ship turning, turning, right? I've got that going on. But there's that one part that's tricking me because it, I'm thinking I'm going to have to draw it. And that's uh, perspective is kind of hard for me. So it's that just when, just before your side has completely turned to this side. Right? That that turn right there. It's probably about right there. That's the angle. So if you were looking at it, it would be like that angle right there. And so I'm having a really hard time. I see it in my head, but I'm having a hard time getting it onto the screen. So I've been trying to study some different ways of looking at that. Um, you are Godsmacked has a brother, and I can't remember his name. Uh, it's on. He it's it. It talks about it in one of my my videos. So check it out. Um, and he did a 3D idea of what it would look like from a third person concept. And he took a picture of a ship and then placed it on and then and filmed uh, another ship leaving. And then you see that look. Um, it's really cool looking. So that's kind of what I want to do. But only I'm doing it in the opposite direction. I have it coming to planet planet landfall. Now, I did study and see the part where there's a point where you see the somewhat land formations and the clouds in front of it, and then the cloud bursts as you shoot through the atmosphere. It goes poof, like that. So there's this, so there will be a series of frames that start with a small cluster of color and go out like this. That'll give you that, that, that effect of going through a cloud, and then on the bottom will be landfall, and then... Um, I have to do where we, we go down to and we stop and then we see it land. So there's there's these these movements that I have to work on. Now I, I downloaded another editor for animation. I got Sigfig 
and I've got this new one. I don't remember the name of it. But both of them have me drawing it already in there, and I've already got it most of it drawn, so I don't want to redraw it. So I don't know. I'm going to have to probably take it from one and move it to the other. Anyway, so that was a really long ramble of what I've been thinking about, as is always. I hope that you have a wonderful week. Next week is Know Thyself. I think it's a song. Maybe not. TV series. TV series. Yes, we'll be talking about TV series and how it affected me in my life. And then um, next streaming is going to be Monday, tomorrow, at around 10 o'clock. It'll be ARC. I'm having some issues with my chat on my PlayStation, but apparently other people are having it too, so I'm going to have to Google it and figure out what's going on. Anyway, so that's it. I'm out of here. Peace. Love you all. Love you all. Love you all. Keeps hitting my face. I love you all. Lo lo love you all. Love you all.